Hello guys, Assalamualaikum. Uh, we are from Group F, and we gonna represent about potential energy and kinetic energy. So our our presenter uh, number one is Daniel Ben Zulkifli. It's me and number two Norfara Melissa binti Azwan. Uh, number three Nur Sarah Akmal binti Rosli. And lastly, uh, Muhammad Nafis bin Muhammad Saleh. Objective. To study about the principle of potential energy and kinetic energy. Theory. The mechanical energy is equal to the work done on a body in altering either its position or its velocity. Three types of mechanical energy. There is potential energy, strain energy, and kinetic energy. Unit of energy is meter meter or joule. Potential energy it is energy possessed by a body for doing work by virtue of its position potential energy equal to mass time gravity time height kinetic energy it is energy possessed by a body for doing work kinetic energy equal to 1 over 2 Time mass, time velocity square. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Nafis. I would like to present about the equipment for the for this lab. The first, you need to you need you you need uh, potential energy and kinetic energy kit. Uh, and next is stopwatch, and and then is you need a ruler, and also you need a slotted wheel and lastly you need a hanger procedure first hang the hanger with weight on potential energy and kinetic energy kit second set the height of the hanger equal to 50 cm from the table surface third release the hanger and at the same time start the stopwatch stop the stopwatch when the weight reach the surface of the table fourth Repeat step second and third with different weight. Hi guys, my name is Pamuk Nafis Nur Muhammad Saleh. I will like to present about the result. So V equals to square root 2 GH, H equals to 0 0.51 and G equals to 9.81. Assumption for this activity, velocity V equals to U plus AT, initial and velocity U equals to 0, gravitational acceleration 9. A equals to 9.81 so 50 gram in kilo is 0 0.05 T1 12.67 T2 11.82 T3 12.17 so the, the average for this one is 12.22 velocity for this one V equals V equals to U plus AT 0 plus 9.81 times 12.22 equals to 119.88 Potential energy for this one is 0 0.05 times 9.81 times 0 0.51 and equal to 0 0.25. And lastly, kinetic energy 1 over 2 times 0 0.05 times 119.8888 power of 2 equals to 359.28. So next is 100 gram. In kilo is 0 0.1. T1 6.87. T2 6.78. T3 6.58. And the, the average is 6.74. So 0 plus 9.81 times 6.74 equals to 66.12. And next 0 0.1 times 9.81 times 0 0.51 equals to 0 0.50. And next, kinetic energy 1 over 2 times 0 0.1 times 66.12 power of 2 equals to 218, 218.59. And next, 150 gram. 150 gram in kilo is 0 0.15. T1, 5.02. T2, 5.14. T3, 5.30. The average for this one is 5.15. Next, 0 plus 9.81 times 5.15 equals to 50.52. 50 
and that's potential energy 0 0.15 times 9.81 times 0 0.51 equals to 0 0.75 and next lastly kinetic energy 1 over 2 times 0 0.15 times 50.52 in power of 2 equals to 0 equals to 191.442 and that's 200, 200 gram in kilo is 0 0.2 T1 for this one 4.06 Next T2 4.21 T3 4.30 And T very for this one is 419 Velocity 0 plus 9.81 times 4.19 Equals to 41.10 And that's potential energy 0 0.2 times 9.81 times 0 0.51 Equals to 1.00 and lastly, kinetic energy 1 over 2 times 0 0.2 times 41.10 power of 2 equals to 168.92. And lastly, 250 gram in kilo is 0 0.25 kilo. T1, 3.80. T2, 3.01. T3, 3.78. Okay, various for this one is 3.76. Velocity 0 plus 9.81 times 3.76 equals to 36.99. Next, potential energy 0 0.25 times 9.81 times 0 0.51 equals to 1.25. And lastly, 1 over 2 times 0 0.25 times 36.99 power of 2 equals to 170.11 so for data analysis uh, we got a uh, graph that have a potential energy versus kinetic energy so uh, this between data analysis uh, it means potential energy is the energy that is stored within an object why kinetic energy is the energy that is in motion based on the graph below so uh, next for the mass versus time so from the from the graph given uh, we, uh, that means uh, the more mass you consume in a shorter amount of time the more massive you get over time Assu assuming energy output remains the same so this is based on the graph so for the for the y axis for the mass and x axis for the time. So so from the graph <coughs> we got a decrease decrease line. Hi, my name is Nusara Kuntirusli. So today I want to explain about discussion and conclusion. For discussion is potential energy is defined as mass times gravity times height. When we increase the mass and height, potential energy increase. Kinetic energy is defined as one half times mass times velocity square. The more we increase the ram height, we increase the speed, therefore increasing kinetic energy. However, our potential energy did not equal the kinetic energy. We figured that it was due to the force of friction from the ruler. So for our conclusion is the objective of the lab was to see how the law of conservation of energy was true and the energy is never created or destroyed it can only transform into a different form in this lab i saw the potential and kinetic energy were constant as potential energy increase or decrease kinetic energy increase or decrease oppositely and correspondingly to potential energy this can also be reversed this is because the potential and kinetic energy are being converted from one to another. The possible errors in the lab may have come from the inquiry of placing the photo gate.